really really light wow look at that i have been testing this and for me the standout feature is absolutely the gemini live which is the live ai that's integrated with this headset i could explain to you why it's so cool but i think it will make a lot more sense for you to see me interact with it in a live demo so let's just get right into it okay well can you show me something else on this headset let me check on that now how about we explore an immersive view of a place on google maps yeah, okay, let's do that. You show me something. Got it. One moment, please. Here is a view of the Trevi Fountain in Rome, Italy. Explore it in immersive view. Or ask me to teleport you somewhere else. Can you open it in immersive view? I've already shown you the Trevi Fountain in immersive view. You can now explore it. All right, fine. I clicked it myself. All right. One second, please. Glad to hear you were able to open it. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Hey, Gemini, would you say that you're better than chat gpt it's great you're exploring the trevi fountain in immersive view both gemini and chat gpt have their strengths gemini is great at understanding and responding to your surroundings in real time while chat gpt excels at creative text formats wait why is the music in this so loud can you lower it i can't control the volume of your but you can easily adjust it yourself. The volume buttons are located on the front left side of your headset. Wow. Gemini, this um, immersive view is so cool. I love the music. I'm glad you like the music. It really adds to the atmosphere, doesn't it? Is there anything else you'd like to explore in immersive view? Show me something else that you think I would like. Okay, working on it now. I'm glad you enjoyed the immersive view of the Trevi Fountain. How about we try another immersive view on Google Maps? Would you like to see the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence, Italy? You know, I don't really like cities in general. I prefer more nature and scenic environments. Okay, one second, please. Okay, since you like nature, how about we explore Half Dome in Yosemite National Park? No, I like live in California, so um, that's old news to me. No problem. Since you're in California, have you ever been to Redwood National Park? The giant redwood trees there are absolutely breathtaking. Show me something not in America that's nature -y. Let me check on that now. Okay, how about we explore the Amazon rainforest in Brazil? Oh, now you're talking. Let's do that. That sounds great. You're gonna love this. The Amazon rainforest, absolutely stunning. Let me know what you think once you're exploring. Well, are you gonna open it for me? Got it. I've opened the Amazon rainforest for you. You can start exploring now. Thanks, Gemini. You're welcome. Enjoy exploring the Amazon rainforest. like in street view okay one sec while i work on that i can't directly check if street view is available for the amazon rainforest dang that would have been so cool though I got it. Don't worry. Great. Let me know if you need any help adjusting the volume or with anything else. Well, okay. So, can we op we do something else? I want to do something else on this headset that's not Google Maps. Sure thing. One sec while I work on that. I can show you a 360 degree video on YouTube. We already did 360 videos on YouTube and we already did the Google Maps. I want to do something else. Sure thing. One sec while I work on that. How about we search for some information in Chrome? Is there anything you'd like to look up? I mean, I don't know. Can you look up something for me? I'm not really sure. Okay, one sec while I work on that. I've opened a web search for amazing natural wonders of the world in Chrome for you. I hope you find something interesting. Um, wow, that was really thoughtful of you. Why did you think to search amazing natural wonders of the world for me? I chose amazing natural wonders of the world 
because you mentioned you enjoy nature and scenic environments. I thought it would be a great way to discover some incredible places. Perhaps we could explore one of them in immersive view. I want to do... What about Galapagos Island? Okay, working on it now. I've opened the Galapagos Islands for... Enjoy exploring! In Ecuador? Had no idea. Yes, the Galapagos Islands are indeed part of Ecuador. Is there anything else you'd like to know about them? Or would you like to explore another location or try a different app? Okay, let's do a different app, but we can't do Chrome. No more Chrome. No more Google Maps, even though Google Maps is really cool on here. No more YouTube immersive videos. So what else you got for me? Got it. One moment, please. How about we try Google Earth? It's a great way to explore different places around the world in a unique way. How is that different from Google Maps? Google Earth is a lot like Google Maps, but it focuses more on showing you a realistic 3D view of the planet. It's great for exploring landscapes, cities, and even the ocean floor. Okay, all right, let's do it. Open Google Earth. One second. I can't open Google Earth because it doesn't appear to be installed on your headset. <gasps> Search for it on the Play Store or its website if you'd like. Yeah, can you do that? Okay, just a moment, please. I found Google Earth on the Google Play Store. You can find it at Link to Google. So are you going to open it for me so we can download it? Let me check on that now. I've opened the Google Earth page on the Play Store for you. You can download it from there. I don't see it. Can you make sure that it pops up on my screen? All right, give me just a sec. I've already opened the Google Earth page on the Play Store for you. So I have you to see it on your screen. Okay, opening the Play Store. All right. Okay, one sec while I work on that. I've opened the Play Store. Is there anything else? Well, can yeah, can you open Google Earth or whatever on the Play Store? Give me just a sec. I've already opened the Google Earth page on the Play Store for you. You didn't. You I'm in the Play Store. I don't see it, but fine, I'll search for it. Google Earth. You're welcome. Let me know if you need any more help. Okay. You've been exploring a lot of cool places. How about we relax a bit with a guided meditation on YouTube? Sure. I've opened YouTube search for guided meditations. You didn't open. Oh wait, yes you did. Let me check on that now. Yes, YouTube is open. You can search for guided meditations there. I don't see anything. Okay, working on it now. You should see YouTube open on your screen. You can use the search bar to look for guided meditations. It's because we were in a video. So is YouTube like your favorite thing or something? YouTube has a lot of great content, but I'm happy to help you explore other apps too. Is there anything else you'd like to try? I don't know. I'm asking you. I'm new. Sure thing. One sec while I work on that. You've been exploring a lot of cool places. How about we relax a bit with a guided meditation on YouTube? Nah, something else. We could listen to a podcast on Spotify or watch a movie on Netflix. Okay. Those sound good. Spotify. Go for it. Spotify is a great choice. I've opened it for... What kind of music or podcast are you in the mood for? I don't see Spotify open. I only see YouTube. Got it. One moment, please. Hang on, sorry. Let me try that again. No matching installed apps are found. Okay, so it's not downloaded. But thanks. So what are the top apps on Samsung Galaxy XR? All right. One second, please. Based on what I found, some of the top apps on the Samsung Galaxy XR headset include Google Maps, YouTube, Google Chrome, Netflix, and Google TV, especially for threes. There are also a lot of fitness apps like Lightsport VR and language learning apps like Mondly. The Google Play Store also has a dedicated XR headset section to make finding these apps easy. Okay, so I have like been screen recording this whole time. How do I get my screen recording from the Samsung Galaxy XR headset? Let me check on that now. To get your screen recordings, you'll need to open the launcher by pressing the top button on your headset. Then, navigate to and open the gallery app, and you should be able to select your recordings from there. How do I change my environments? Let me check on that now. To change your environment, you need to open the quick settings panel. Do this by pressing the top button on your headset. Look for an icon that says environment or shows a landscape. You should be able to select from a few different options there. Mmm, cool. Is there anything else I can help you with regarding your environment settings? Or no, but awesome? is there a really cool like 3D immersive video that you recommend I watch? Let me check on that now. I previously suggested the Okavango Delta in 360 degrees, National Geographic. Would you like to watch that again? I mean like a proper movie, like a movie that was in theaters. Okay, just a moment, please. I've opened Google TV. How about we watch a popular movie like Dune? It's a fantastic sci-fi film. 
that was in theaters. So that gives you a pretty good idea of like some of the things that you could do with Gemini. Those are just some of the basics and obviously it's new. What I'm hoping is that Samsung and Google continue to like push the limits on this. Like I really want this to be quite smart and be able to maneuver around um, for me. So for example, some of the things that I asked earlier was trying to get it to log into Slack for me. I didn't want to do that since it doesn't have access. Sometimes I don't really want to type, you know, so having it be able to do those kind of things or open up apps for me or close different apps, I'm, I'm hoping that that will be enabled. But yeah, for me, Gemini is so cool. It makes navigating this headset so much easier compared to other headsets where you kind of have to figure out and navigate the UI yourself. I do think that Gemini Live slash the AI in this headset will allow people, like a lot more people, to be able to use this headset. And what I mean by that is there's going to be a lot of people who just don't want to mess with trying to learn the headset and having the AI be able to help them easily. So will be really great for allowing for mass adoption. So yeah, so that's what I have for you so far on the Samsung Galaxy XR. This is $1,800, but with tax, it ends up costing you, at least for me in California, it ended up costing me over $2,000. I have not bought the controllers because that's another expense for me, although I, I do genuinely think that they need it. Even with the hand tracking, being pretty decent. I just don't want to use hand tracking all the time. Honestly, I like having controllers sometimes. And maybe that's why I like uh, Gemini Live so much on this is because I don't have to navigate as much and I can just use my voice and have it do things for me. Anyway, that is all for me today. If you want to see anything else on this headset, leave it in the comments below and make sure you subscribe for my future videos. I will see you next time. Goodbye.